Okay, first you would fold the handle rearward by squeezing the two handles together. The release buttons, one on the left, one on the right. Okay. Fold the handle back. Mm -hmm. Then you would move the belts out of the way, back here. And you'd put the child in. Okay. Here you go, Scott. That's a good boy. Here you go. You place him in the car on the seat. Make sure that his head is facing the rear of the car. Mm -hmm. Okay, now squeeze the release one on each side and fold the handle toward the front of the car. There you go. All the way down. Then open the cover on the back of the seat and take the shoulder portion and put it all the way around through the clamp and close the cover and then pull the seat back into the retractor and it's attached. Good. That's easy. Good. This is the seat sensor mat that's located underneath the seat cover, approximately here. You can't see this when it's installed in the vehicle, but this is what it looks like in approximate placement. Now, integrated into this mat here is an antenna that the system uses to put out a very low power radio signal. And that low power radio signal then is bounced back from the two devices that are on the bottom of the child seat here and reflected back into the vehicle. The system then recognizes a rear facing child seat is installed and the passenger side airbag here must be turned off. The lamp on the center console here then is lit.